Hey, I'm AJ from uh, Compton, California. Um, you know, Compton is, is, is kind of known for like where uh, gang banging really originated, where it started. And, uh, you know, by being in that environment, I, I definitely got involved in that type of lifestyle. I probably tried every drug possible, you know. I, I sold, I sold, you know, drugs, you know, which, which definitely entailed the fact that I was constantly in jail as well. Um, man, I've been in shootouts, you know. Uh, uh, I, I've been, man, my life's been threatened, like, on several occasions, you know. You don't just participate in, in gang activity. It's like a real culture. Like, you're, you're, you're raised in that, and that becomes your mindset. And when I was involved in the street life, man, my mindset was like a machine, and I, I was programmed. I was programmed and uh, destined for death, destined for hell. But it was more so I was so deceived that I believed and I thought that what I was doing was a way of life, you know. So, like, I already was mentally, you know, um, distraught, you know, by just, you know, growing up in a family, you know, where I had both my parents parents in my life but uh you know they were they were separated they were divorced so I went through custody battles and all that type of stuff and that kind of played a part on on how I felt about family that sent me off you know into the streets and where where you know I really was a victim of deceit you know but it was by choice you know I volunteered my life you know to the street it was through that lifestyle that I was truly affected my family was affected and this is the type of lifestyle that I committed to and by doing that, man, it really ruined my life, man. It, it, it hardened my heart, it darkened my mind. My pursuit of uh, fun, joy, happiness, or what I consider to be joy, fun, and happiness, you know, um, and really it was just about self-exaltation and, 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 and trying to gain a name. A lot of times I used to, you know, claim that I was a product of my environment, but what I learned later on was that I was really a product of my choices because as I look around my environment, not every single person in that environment did what I did. But the truth was, um, man, I decided to do those things. I wasn't in prison because somebody falsely put me there. I wasn't in prison. I didn't constantly go to jail because, um, you know, people were out for me. I, I was going to jail because I was breaking the law. And I didn't see that as, as reality until later on in my life. And when I did, I, I came to the realization that I was not a product of my environment, but instead I was a product of my choices. So my choices, my decisions, they led me to a place where uh, I, I, I guess you can consider it my rock bottom. And my rock bottom was being in prison. Internally, the reality was, man, that, that's not what I wanted out of life. So I found myself pursuing a lot of positivity. Um, I found myself pursuing uh, things that I assumed could help me. But what I realized soon after that was that it wasn't positivity that would change my life because I still had a wicked heart. And by having a wicked heart, just because I filled myself with positive insight didn't change my heart. I needed a power that was outside of myself. I actually needed a power that was outside of humanity and that power was God. And when I uh, encountered that power and I encountered that, that um, you know, that, that assistance, you know, it, it changed my life. I just had this like, I guess you could say epiphany or, or something in, tugging on my heart that said, you know, you've tried everything. You tried everything, and, and, and the truth was I couldn't change on my own. I needed to be changed. I couldn't change myself. So I cried out to God, you know. That was, like, really one of the uh, first times I, I cried out to God sincerely. You know, he dealt with me about forgiveness, and he began to explain to me why I needed forgiveness. By understanding that, that I needed that, by faith, man, I started reading these scriptures and, and, and it started telling me about what, what, what God did for me through his son. And it, it, it's crazy, but I believed it. And when I believed that, I accepted the fact that I was forgiven. And what that did for me was it released me from my past and it gave me an opportunity for a new future. And true repentance, I really turned from those things. And by doing that, man, they produced results in my life that that gave me evidence and showed and proved that I really was forgiven, that God and, and, and the people around me weren't holding everything I've done in the past over my head. And, and one of the ways that that was validated was the fact that I deserved to get life sentence, but I didn't. Yes, I got nine years, but I had to confront my issues. I had to become purified. I had to become clean. I had to really deal with myself. It's like I, I, I was pulled out of that current of hell and, and I was placed into a new current and it was like a pure river in that river man I've been finding uh, knowledge I've been finding understanding revelation and um, not only did me being forgiven allow me freedom uh, to pursue a different lifestyle 
but it allowed me to start viewing people differently. And if I realized that I needed forgiveness, then I had to come to the conclusion that I'm not the only one that needs it and others needed it as well. And what that allowed me to do was to be forgiving for the things that people done to me, allowed me to let go of the resentment I have for a lot of people. And in doing so, that also freed me. You know, I used to think that forgiving others was mainly for the other, and it is for them, but really, I learned that it was for me. It's like me being unwilling to forgive somebody helped me in bondage. So, you know, my life has been completely changed. It's been completely different, um, and, it, and it started with being forgiven and then being able to forgive. I just praise God that, that, man, there was a light that was brighter than my darkness that pulled me out.